rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Fine. Yes. Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today we played Valley of the Vikings. Specifically, we've played it at PAX Unplugged, where we are in Philadelphia. Well, right now we're in a hotel room, but you get the gist. Um, it is a game about Vikings where you smash things into things. Is that a fair representation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's sneeze. All right, so in the game, there's four barrels in the middle of the board. Um, every player is a color. There was only three of us playing, um, so blue wasn't being used in the game. Um, but blue is still involved in the game, which makes it really interesting. So essentially, on your turn, you've got this ball that you start on your corner of the board. And you've got a Batman, which is a man with a bat. It's legally distinct. <laughs> Um, and you use this man with a bat to actually like hit the ball and you're trying to like bowl down these barrels that are in the middle of the table. The barrels, the colour barrels that you knock over are the colour people who you move along this kind of board along the top. Um, and this bit is kind of randomised, so you've got all these different things that if you're on that spot when somebody falls off the edge of the dock, uh, you earn that reward. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> basically you're, like, you're smashing the barrels down to advance up the track. Yeah. And the spaces are things, yeah, like when the track is activated, yes. you'll get four coins or you'll be able to steal one coin off another player. Or if you're really lucky, you'll be able to steal one coin of off everybody. all of the other players. Mm. Um, but basically, like the whole board is laid out like a little Viking village. Mm. So like the, the barrels are all in like the, the village green and then you've got the four player centers. But the track is a jetty leading into the water so the idea is that these players are basically getting bumped along the track and then when they go bloop and fall in the water when one of them does rather mm -hmm. everyone who's still on the track gets what is on the space in front of them so they will get money or they will get the chance to steal from somebody else and then that person goes back and mm -hmm. they sort of start the run again um and you keep playing until all the coins are gone and it's it's really weird because it's like part dexterity game yeah. where you're like smashing down barrels slash part like just childish fun yeah um but also there's quite a bit of strategy involved in like knocking down the barrels you want and then activating them in the the turn order that would make the most sense and be the most benefit for you yeah because also um when you do the knocking down at the end of your turn you're the one who gets to place the barrels back up so you can kind of to a certain point influence the barrels that potentially the next person's going to hit because yeah. if you know that they're going to try and avoid a certain barrel you can like put i don't know you know you, you can, can put it in like influence way. yeah you can influence or be um, like i know they're going to knock down their own barrel yeah. but i'm going to make sure that there's the, a high chance they'll also knock down mine yeah. if if like they do it because that <laughs> will benefit me yeah and like at first cuz i think at that point that point in the day it was kind of getting on in the afternoon at parties oh, yeah. we were like let's play something simple and we were like, dexterity game about whacking barrels, this is perfect. And it had a Viking theme. Also so by the same people happy. as Rhino Hero, right? So we were like, so... Yeah, let's just get in on this. <laughs> um, and at f like the first few turns, we were just like, smacking barrels down. Then eventually we were like, wait, no. If I smack down this one, <laughs> then there's no way they can knock me off. And they will only punt me onto greater points. So, like, yeah. it was pretty tense by the end. Because, mm -hmm. like, the, the coins... Like, it is actually a surprisingly long game for how quick yeah. the turns are. It lasted about 25 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, something like that, 20, 25. Minutes. And we were also arguing quite a lot, so, like, it kind of stretched it out a little bit. Who, who <laughs> could have possibly guessed that that would happen? But it ended up um, really close, and jet lag is horrible. Uh, what I really like about the game as well <laughs> is that... <laughs> Is that every player, um, the coins that you get, you put in a little boat, in a yeah. Viking boat. And it's like, it's a detail that is probably kind of unnecessary, but I love it. Like, I, I think it's a great detail. And oh, I don't lovely. think, like, it, I don't even know the price point of the game, to be honest. But no. I'm sure it doesn't, like, make it any, you know, unlike certain games, I don't think it, like, brings it to a point where you're like, oh my god, like, if they hadn't done this, I would totally buy this game. It it's actually, not tapestry, I agree. Yes. <laughs> I was trying not to name and shame. Whoops! <laughs> But it is, it's a detail I really enjoyed. And yeah, you're it's, right, like, it's lovely. It's, it's barely even proud of it, but the fact that you can like, you're like, oh, my coins are in my little boat. Um, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's the thing that really ties the whole thing together because yeah. like, there's nothing inherently Viking-y about no, smashing a massive true. ball into barrels. Unless, mm. unless did, did the Vikings invent bowling? 
Surely not. If Wheels were here, he'd be able to tell Let's us. Let's Google. Um, also, Wheels is delighted by this game yes. because the player who looks most like a Viking gets to go first. Yes. Which initially I bristled at, but then... Pirate. I look more like a pirate. Wheels Viking. He's a Viking. So that's What am fine. I? I mean, you could very much argue that, like, Shield Maiden vibes. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was yeah, a the, funny the one, boats isn't it? are just great. And they are unnecessary, but also it, it does mean that the coins are secret until the end. Yes. Like, num, 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 num. <laughs> it's also really interesting because, I mean, it didn't happen too much in the game that we played, mm. but um, obviously there's a whole thing of, like, you can steal coins from other players. And depending if that happened a lot, you could actually end up like being like, oh, I'm going to steal coins from everyone. Or I'm going to steal the coins from this player, not realizing they have no coins because yeah. it's in the boat. You might not necessarily know how many coins they have. That and happened the... to you, didn't it? You were able to steal from me and no, you weren't because yeah. I had nothing. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, and the game, I don't know if we mentioned this already, but the game ends when all the coins run out. So yeah. it's like you want to get coins quickly and get as many of them as you can. Yeah. Um, it, our, our track was pretty interesting because there was like there's um, the, the one where you can, the space where you can get four coins was like towards the back of it. So you want yeah. to get quite towards the back of the dock, but you're also like at a high risk of yeah. falling off. Whereas the guys next to us who you were teaching, yeah. their four was the first space on the board. So it was quite a safe space, but it was also quite unlikely you're going to be in that space. Yeah, you really wanted to stay back on that track. And I think yeah. that that was when I clicked with the game a bit more. Because like there was a point in the midsection where I was like, this is fine, but I'm not that into it. And then we started to get more and more competitive. I was like, oh, this is actually quite tactical and fun. Mm. And then I realized that randomizing the tracks, it does mean that each game is, it, it feels a bit different. So mm. it was like, I was so used to ours being like, a race to the end, and then you slam on the brakes and hope you get lucky. Yeah. But with that one, it was like, there were little patches where it's like, you, you kind of want to speed up there and blah, 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 blah. And also to, to the point of uh, teaching some other guys, because like they sat down and they were in the same, what, the same long boat as us. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Um, but they they were like, oh, is it simple? Can we like we can can we find someone to teach us? We can probably teach ourselves. And I was like, I'll do it. Mm. And I taught them in ninety seconds flat. Like, it was that easy. Um, and it's, I think that's just great for like for something that actually has like a good amount of depth. Yeah. But also is very child friendly. Like it won the kin like the Kinderspiel des Jahres, yeah, um, this year. So that was like the children's essentially award for uh, at. Um, uh, Essen. At Essen, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it was funny because we did, there was a point where we were like, oh, this is a kid's game. And the thing is, it does play well with kids, I think. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there is, if you want to play it with just adults, there is enough depth in there that you can play it as like a, a quite chill game. Yeah. Like with people your own age. And actually it can be quite like competitive and quite strategic in a way. Yeah. Uh, but it's still got that kind of fun, like kids like element. So I think it's, it actually, it's a really nice one if, if you want like a family game that you also want to be able to play with your mates. Yeah. It's almost it's like a really, really cheap abstract version of Crocodile. <laughs> Don't you start. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Johnny's just... just discovered Crocodile and he's obsessed oh, with it. Oh, it's so good. We literally, we, num, we, num, num, we num, sat num. down around 5pm today. That's not going to mean much to you, but we played it for two hours, just non-stop. We're like, one game of Crocodile, just one game of Crocodile. Just, just another one. Flash just forward two hours. It was, so. And we had to tear ourselves away. We literally yeah. just tore ourselves away just so we could make this video. So I hope you're happy. And I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and that you're interested in Valley of the Vikings. Like it's, again, it's not one where you're like, are we on for tonight? Like, yeah. yeah gonna get some drinks in let's let's absolutely smash valley of the vikings but if you're like winding down at the end of like a day of playing more complex board games you're like do you just want to like do you just want to biff some plastic around on yeah. the table for a while or if you've got kids like that that are looking for something to play it's like it's pretty strong i think, I think it, it it there's a few different areas that it can fit into which is it's quite yeah. a broad market game i think it like yeah. it fits a lot of different people and it doesn't feel tacky no. Like, the only thing I didn't like was the plastic ball. Because it didn't look, it was meant to look like a It looked like a dung ball. ball. It looked, yeah, it just looked like, it just looked like poop. Uh, <laughs> so that was weird. But you know, you could always give it a paint job if you were so inclined. I mean, I, I wouldn't. No, it'd probably roll a bit funny, wouldn't it? That's true. Yeah. Don't do that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's a weird one to, to choose as our first video from PAX Unplugged, but so it goes. We'll have so many more videos coming up from the show for you. Um, so look out for those. In the meantime, there are lots of other videos there on screen right now. You sh it's weird to do this without a table. Look, it we've is, got knees, it? look. Um, <laughs> We're real people. <laughs> hey. 
some of those videos should be on screen now, so do give those a click. Do like, subscribe, ring the bell icon so you don't miss anything else. Um, and yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Have a lovely day. Yeah. Because we are finishing ours right now. Bye. <laughs>